Hi there, Gemini. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your, just wanted to make sure we're recording there. It's Mercury retrograde, sort of. We're moving through the pre shadow period here um, into full fledged Mercury retrograde. Uh, I'm filming this around the 20th of the month of March, and it is your April reading, approximately spanning between the 1st and the 30th of the month of April uh, 2018. And uh, we're here, Gemini, with your reading. Uh, but before we get right into it, I know some of you have been asking where are the mid-March readings, and they are available now live on the uh, website, Alchemy and You. So for those of you who've been following for quite some time, you know that I offer the general overview of thematic readings from the 1st to the 30th for free on the channel, um, as well as sometimes right the 1st to the 15th if I do those readings, as well as new moon readings, full moon readings, um, when, when I post those. So for the 15th to the 30th of the month. Generally, the protocol has been that they will be available on the website um, and for the price of 222 for each of the signs. So doing it in this way allows me to continue with the mid-March readings, with the mid-month readings, and specifically the mid-March here. So thank you so much again for your dear support. And for those of you who'd like to view the 15th to the 31st, feel free to view them via the website Alchemy and You. Link in the bio box description below. Let's get right started here for you, Gemini, with your April reading. Now, there is, as I'm getting it, a strong focus on strategy strategy there's something that i'm hearing you want to bring to ultimate perfection and it, i mean i was hearing for you as i was meditating off camera um before i turned on the camera lacquer i was hearing hard lacquer i'm hearing set i'm hearing there's something that you want to just you want to set it you want to see it's like i i i'm hearing i designed it i created it and I'm, I'm hearing make it i'm hearing official and i'm seeing it uh, almost as like an engraving i'm also seeing it as like on nails okay something that's like i want to i want to make it i'm hearing solid permanent in a certain way as i may feel it or perceive it or as others may claim it to be okay um but i get it i'm getting as well gemini that you're working almost in layers and i'm and i'm seeing that whatever it is that you've identified as uh working it's almost like okay it's working that's working let's 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 continue with that let's keep rolling with that ball and let's i'm hearing let's pack it on let's layer it on there's something here that i'm understanding here gemini that you feel um is an asset that is i'm hearing not to be forsaken i'm hearing forgotten okay for 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 forgot forgotten okay it's like we cannot forego using i'm hearing that asset specifically you have here the world okay the emperor aries is card in the major arcana now let's see here what these two cards are the daughter of swords in reverse and the three of swords in reverse there's something here okay um that you are placing that you are understanding, that you're giving, I'm hearing a certain name to, a certain shape to, uh, perceptively, okay, and it's almost like I'm hearing, well, that, that, that was, that was, I'm hearing that was okay, but okay is not enough, and where I move from here on out speaks to a whole lot more, I'm hearing of what I identify with as a hard set value of success, of assets, of vision, of what it is that I cultivate by way of my vision, by way of my dream, and identifying what will emotionally satisfy me and bring me to a state of stability, and what will physically do the same for me. I'm hearing what will physically vibrate with me, what will physically align with me. Similarly, um, is to lay the foundation for this next chapter. Now, I'm hearing for growth. Now, you have here a prominent card here, Ten of Swords. A whole lot of thinking. There's been a whole lot of strategy. And there's been a whole lot of perhaps also re re revision, revision, revision. And um, right, Mercury retrograde is absolutely a time for revision, for um, reviewing what, what perhaps in the past was and remained unresolved. So beautiful here. The star, impending, waiting. I'm setting it at your apex here. Uh, dear, I'm hearing Capricorn, Sagittarius as well, Gemini. Uh, there's something that you, that I'm hearing you've been waiting for. You've been waiting a whole, I'm hearing a whole, a whole lot for, you've been, you, you, you may have been putting a whole lot on the line for, and, and almost, um, uh, I'm hearing it as, um, it's almost like you're, you're, it's not only that you're waiting, there's so much that waits with you, and I'm hearing for you as well, okay. okay 
All right. Heavy energies here. A bit for you, Gemini. Okay. Death and the Eight of Pentacles. This is transformation. There is a recognition that there is a whole lot that goes into. I'm hearing laying a certain uh, principle and value to rest that um, didn't quite didn't quite align with what we recognize is is an alliance that is personal with our work and there's a focus on vibration as i'm getting it and of course general readings would take it as you will of course it can resonate differently for everyone it can be taken in a number of ways of course but there's a focus on what we feel we are working through what it is that we feel uh, also changes in the way that we work through what we're working with excuse me gemini there's a whole lot of work though excuse me gemini um, <laughs> eight of pentacles and the seven of pentacles, seven, eight, a sequence that you realize, I'm hearing burden, heavy burden, laying it to rest that, that, um, is, 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 I'm hearing shadow play is, is to be, uh, sort of, um, left left to rest and i'm hearing left behind okay and i'm and i'm getting here that there's a strong focus on uh what we are focusing on and i'm getting though that there is perhaps a whole lot of work that goes into what um prepares even our perception of the role that we take on in pursuit of this dream. Now you have your the sun of wands upright in your deep past, the world horizontally laid, uh, connecting the sun of wands to the five of pentacles in reverse in the current state. Beautiful, the two fives here in a, in a row, uh, in, a, in a line, the five of swords upright in your energetic pathway, the nine of pentacles in reverse in your advice, the nine of cups in reverse in your near future, the 10 of pentacles upright in your hopes and your fears, the 10 of the wheel of fortune in the major arcana, the moon smack dab in the middle in your environment right beneath here, the seven of pentacles that leads up into death and up into the star. You then have your the mother of pentacles upside down in reverse flipped over here right beneath death. There is a total close of a certain chapter of a certain involvement that just didn't, d doesn't you realize it's heavy. I'm hearing, oh, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want anything to do with that. Um, burden, I'm hearing burden specifically, take it as you will. However, is that that may resonate with you again it can be taken in a number of ways what is it that we feel in a certain way we have been moving closer towards what is the vision how am i getting myself there by way of understanding literally how i'm getting myself there and you're getting so clear on what you put in and what you sort of um, in a certain way uh i'm hearing what is the output of what you, I'm hearing is an expenditure for you. And then you're getting super, super, super tight with it. And be it fin finances, you're getting super tight with it. Dear Gemini, um, I'm hearing you recognize that every every um, inch plays a role. Okay, take it as you will. Uh, you have the eight of wands upright in your theme, right over here, the six of cups upright. Okay, six of cups. Um, flipping over, horizontally laid associated perhaps with the mother of pentacles the five of wands in reverse that peeks out mirroring here this eight of wands you then have this mother of swords that mirrors the eight of wands okay i'm getting this as your own energy your dear gemini um For a number of you, I'm getting that there is a focus on communication specifically as it pertains to a certain direction that we feel we are to take on. That changes a whole lot. I'm hearing that that is, I'm hearing the change that we've also been seeking that paves a completely new direction that we feel in a certain way. Um, yes, it has has been alluded to, but that has not been struck. I'm hearing, um, uh, I'm hearing by its cord, okay? I'm hearing lifeline. There is a focus on exactly what we um, recognize um, is our sort of uh, reason, our reasoning process, what it is that we identify with as uh, also um, a form of clarity. Almost toppled over onto the table <laughs> a bit. Uh, okay, take it as you will. What it is that um, I'm hearing um, boozy, okay boozy take it as you will uh what it is what it is that in a certain way we we um remain almost above water with and you have the six of cups right smacked up in the middle between this very intellectual strong air energy and that which is speaks to the right sort of sort of um 
the, the, the change to to what has remained um, almost as a, as a form of consistent, I'm hearing, behavior, there um, is a question of emotional assets. Where does it go? I'm hearing, where do they roam? I'm hearing there is a certain... Um, Prediction, I'm hearing prediction, that I'm hearing that that you practice for that you in a certain way um, acknowledge as. a form of change that clarifies for you what you are experiencing in an esoteric way in a financial way, and in a physical way, on so many levels. And of course, general reading, right? May resonate differently for everyone. So always, 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 anyways, always heed your personal intuition, okay? Always heed your personal intuition. Um, what is it that we, are living for? What is it that we remember as a dream? What are the stages that are followed through with by way of the recollection of the values that we hold in pursuing in creating and bringing into form what we feel so deeply for. I'm hearing, I know, I'm hearing, I know, I know it all, I'm hearing, I know it all. There's such a focus for you, Gemini. There's something that it's like, I'm hearing, it's like, um, uh, it's, a, it's like a, it's like a, it's a razor sharp form of clarity that that is almost like an almost like a Uranian sort of um, Aquarian sort of uh, ability to 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 forecast. Okay, um, I'm hearing climate for a number of you. Climate, climate change, climate, climate environment. Take it as you will. Can be taken in a number of ways. Yet again, um, there is though a, a certain attention that you're giving to what you feel in a certain way you are moving closer towards as uh, the uprising of, I'm getting it specifically as recollection of what we are pursuing, the dream, the nucleus. I'm hearing Who I'm hearing who there there may be a person associated with specifically this dream and I'm, I'm seeing it as almost like it's like it's like a face that you see and it's almost like it's like an it's almost as if um, I'm seeing almost like it's like a like a shrine okay and I'm hearing I'm done with the character play. Okay, I'm done with the character play. And what, what, in a certain way, you look forward to is releasing the attachment physically, materially, financially, I'm hearing also by way of perhaps the environment, to what has at one point provided a sense of 
of home, I'm hearing for a number of you, and stability of growth as well. And it's almost like, well, I technically thrived there in a certain way. But I'm hearing, what about the if ands and buts? What about what I still feel for what it is that I am hearing seek to create? to yet bring into form. And even if until this point, I have been productive in absolutely, especially so you may have been incredibly, um, uh, I'm hearing attuned to success in a certain way. It's like, well, put in a lot of hours. And um, it was, uh, it was Virgo who got the similar energy here. Okay, specifically with the seven of pentacles, and I believe it was the eight of pentacles that they got in reverse. Nonetheless, um, the focus, okay, being being not just on on I'm hearing the time that we spend laboring away, but again on on I'm hearing the who, the the why, and I'm hearing the where. I'm hearing the paradigm through which we feel we are transforming through where we work. I'm hearing where we work, how we work, and for what, and I'm hearing again for who we work. Be it, right? A number of interpretations. I'm hearing disclosure disclosure and specifically with the five of wands in reverse there is a certain creative direction that um, you I'm getting you've been you've been practicing you've been you've been preparing for okay and um, the feeling I'm getting is um, almost as if you feel I'm hearing Sagittarius, I'm hearing Temperance specifically, that, that you, that you, it, it's almost like I, I needed to sort of finish this, close out this chapter first, and then I, I could, I could entertain the dynamism of my cause. And I'm getting that you're like fully prepared with that, whatever that may be. And it's almost like, well, once I get done with school, I'm hearing, I'm, I'm, I'm in the road, Jack. I, um, am a dreamer at heart. I don't only want to create, I want I'm hearing for a number of you to color in my creations. And it's this feeling I'm getting for you. It's almost as if it's like stencil work. It's and I'm specifically I'm seeing it with the Mother of Swords and the Father of Pentacles, just like this, where we look at these two cards and there is no color as we see it, right? On on these two. The way that they they sit just like that atop one another. And it's almost as if you have, in a certain way, perhaps prepared again, prepared financially, materially, also by way of the home environment. Um, for for invigoration of of creativity of passion and it's almost like right with this uh, very colorful strike of lightning that we see similarly on the antlers of the Father of Pentacles as well as right on the strings that interlace on the wheel of fortune there is this alluding to passion this alluding as well to chaos to the desire and the propensity to dream and it's those very colors that we see as well on the star Right? Sitting just at your apex. I'm hearing fashion, fashion, fashion house, fashion game. Okay, and so I, what I'm getting for you, Gemini, I'm hearing Sagittarius, I'm hearing Leo and Aries, is that I'm hearing housing potential. There is, there is a certain 
creativity. I mean, a creative streak that is that is almost like uh, it's it's almost eccentric. Again, it's almost like a Uranian sort of Aquarian sort of energy. Okay, it's like uh, um, I'm hearing pr pr prodigy, prodigy. Okay, um, where you where where you feel? Okay, this is this is I'm hearing my good stuff. This is this is these are my goods. These are my assets. Okay, yes, like again, I I have created. I have I have perhaps accumulated to a certain point as well. I'm hearing. The foundation has been laid. How is it that I create? I'm hearing above and beyond what has been identified with as a form of creation and production to this point that connects me once again to how I envision my creation I'm hearing habitat to come into form, and I'm getting a strong focus on visuals, strong focus on aesthetics specifically, and I'm but I'm seeing it as there being almost it's almost like a plain ceramic pottery, and it's like okay, well I I, I molded it and and I spun it, and um, it's now time to paint it. And again, right, it can apply to so many so many different so many different things and so many different avenues, right? Um, but the feeling for you, Gemini, and your Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, again here, is that um, there is um, a certain direction of creation that you feel will completely change the paradigm of what success means and holds a value as for you. Thank you so much, Gemini, for tuning in. And I'm also back to mention that... Um, Forms of success that have to this point operated in a material, purely, I'm hearing material financial way as we may have perceived it, but not entirely. I'm getting that it's like, okay, well, the uh, sort of broader understanding is that, well, right now I'm going to just sort of, I'm going to sew the fabric, but I'm going to then dye it at the next few stages, that kind of feeling, okay? Um, in creating and, and housing a certain fabric of our work, take it as you will. However, it does resonate. There is the re-establishment of our method of creating. That is so exciting. It again that it's almost like I'm done with with. I'm hearing laying the brick. Okay, I, I'm hearing where the colored pencils, and that's the sort of feeling that I'm getting for you, uh, Gemini. <laughs> here specifically and it's um a playful sort of energy for you here a very playful energy and it's it's almost like okay well now that the the sort of um um uh the i'm hearing the we i'm hearing we've paid our dues specifically we've paid our dues um we now in a certain way can fill in the, I'm hearing dots and I'm hearing the lines as well. So now that the sort of structure has been laid and perhaps the dots have been connected in a certain way, how is it that in a, in a certain way we are um, now working off of that platform? Okay, so thank you so very much for tuning in, dear Gemini, to your reading, love and light to you all. And thank you so much for your dear support. Love and light to you on this transformational journey forward. Um, and again, it's Mercury Retrograde that we're stepping into just in a few days now i'm filming this on the 20th of march um and mercury retrograde will go direct right around the beginning of may uh so if you've got an important contract something that you are solidifying making sort of official um it may behoove you to wait until mercury goes direct of course always heed your personal intuition always always heed your personal intuition of course uh one more time always always heed your personal intuition Thank you so much again for tuning in. Dear Gemini, love and light to you all. And I know some of you have been asking if I do personal readings and the like, and I do. I have a number of services on my website. You can check them out. Personal readings. Um, I've just actually launched as well a, a, a mentorship session. Okay, so this is sort of like a one-on-one -on -one brainstorming session that um, 
is, is going to target matters of soul path calling, career. So if this is something that you want to target, that you want to focus on, what are my what are my skills, what are my talents by seen by way of my birth chart? What um, sort of elemental propensities do do I hold uh, a lot of? Okay, I may, I may be a sun sign Gemini, but I could have a lot of air uh, elsewhere in my chart as well. And that will indicate perhaps certain fields uh, that may be most conducive for the channeling of my gifts, of my energies. So if that's something that you'd like to take a deeper dive with in a one-on-one -on -one fashion, then the mentorship session may be something of interest to you, and you can check that out further via the link in the bio box description below. Um, let's see any other announcements, and that will be held via Skype or phone, your preference, okay? Um, I think that's it. All right. Thank you so much, dear Gemini, for tuning in. Love and light to you all again on this transformational journey forward, and I'll see you soon. Bye.